sensational. New Pack Life. Welcome to episode 33 of the Pack Life Podcast. I'm your host, Bruiser Carter, and along with family, we have Lil B to the left. Gang. And we have Cut Carter to the right. Cut through. Gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. How about you, sir? Sir? I'm fine, I'm fine. Here in static, but I'm fine. We're good. How are you, man? Great. Any news you want to tell the audience before we get started? Any uplifting news, positive news, positive affirmations? No. No? I mean, I would have news if it would have posted. Ah, boo. Yeah, boo, United Masters. <laughs> Didn't have Here comes Kanye. <laughs> you Kanye? What you mean? Say you on your Kanye. <gasps> Cause you ain't drop like you said you would. It says pending, like I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, uh, I did my part. There's on the rest on them. Man, Thursday night football last night. Not last night. Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Let's <laughs> go. Uh, Seahawks Rams takeaways. Rams win after a great zone line missed field goal. Another Rams win. Seahawks win after a great zone line missed field goal. Thirty twenty nine. Great Thursday night football game. Takeaways. 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 The Seahawks, they they improving. Uh, Russell had a great game. One of the best games he had really in his career. Yeah, he bought. But they he, lucky they lucky Chris Carson dropped that ball. football. Yeah, boy. They lucky Zerline missed the field goal. Mm-hmm. What uh, Russ Russell had? Russ had two hundred sixty eight yards on four TDs, and he carried it eight times for thirty two yards. Balling out, and they say he's a MVP candidate, top two with him and Patrick Mahomes. Do you agree? I agree. Four and one. Do you agree? I'm sorry. Let me lock in. <laughs> I got it. Told you. Nah, I was getting something made me mad and something. But I'm cool now. I'm cool. Russell, uh, MVP <sighs> candidate for real. Did I got a real shot to win it. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, he did he have any picks again? Nope. No. So no picks. <clears throat> Ten touchdowns. In the season, I don't know how many. Out of the season. Did he have many he had yesterday? Four. Thursday. We had he had four. four. So that's 12 and 0. 12 touchdowns, 0 picks. What's your takeaways? The Seahawks are real. I mean, I, I had them picked and then I switched it. It was a close game like I expected it to be. I just thought the Rams was going to get that slight edge and they technically should have. Yeah, he missed the field goal after making, what, three prior? I believe. Yeah, you know, after making it against us last year. <laughs> but anytime the Rams lose, I'm not I'm not, I'm not not upset. Like, I'm I'm very fine with them losing. <laughs> I saw that. I noticed they gave Gurley the ball early and often, but like. Yeah, it's still in the He only finished game. with 15 carries, though. But he had two tubs. Speaking of him, let me go check my fantasy scores. I didn't even look. I started him. It's like I drafted him. I gotta start. I gotta play him, but I would never draft him again, probably. For the Rams, though, I don't think this was a tough loss. It was a, not a tough loss, but I he gave me eighteen. I can see this later down the line being like, dang, we should have won that game, especially because the NFC got a bunch of good teams this year. And NFC West got three. NFC South has two or three. NFC East has two. So disappointing, the fact. <laughs> and the NFC North has three good teams as well. So I think that might come back and bite the Rams. And then back later on, later on down the season when it comes to seeding and wild card positions. So, it was, it was a great Thursday night football game, though. I picked the Rams to win, but Greg the Legs Erline, who I think is the best kicker in the NFL, wasn't clutch in that in this instance. But he'll bounce back. I know he is. He far. Who? Greg Zerline. Yeah, he's he's the you know top five kicker. <laughs> Maybe top three. What were your takeaways from last week, week four? Takeaways. Um, I the Browns it. figured yeah. it out, like we said, run the ball. What Baker said, hey, don't jump on our bandwagon now. I ain't on the bandwagon. <laughs> I just need him. Like I said, I needed them to play better, and they did. You Odell think, didn't you do You think they're going to win Monday night? Yeah. They played the uh, Niners. 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 I picked the Browns. I think, I think they'll win Monday night as well. I think they finally about to get in stride, and the, the Niners – Going, they had a bye week, so they're gonna be prepared. But I think it's gonna be another close game. This is probably the best Monday night game so far. Not a no, one. second, second one. Yes, the Texans, the Saints, one. Texans. Yes, yeah, that so was. Far. But then it's been what game's been boring? The Thursday nights have been Monday more, and been the more. Thursday nights have not been more. Monday nights have been more. The only good Thursday night was this week, and then the Jags. Last week it was a good one too. Eagles and Packers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Monday, the Monday night games are the ones that've been boring. Okay. Ever since the Saints game. And then Sunday night been what? I mean, straight. Yeah, it's straight. Last week they had Dallas and Saints. Yeah. And a week before that they had um, Cleveland Rams. So they've been straight. Nothing not bad, though. Takeaways from week four? 
Um, the Saints beat Dallas, twelve ten. I like I like, I like Garner Minshew in, in with that game in Denver. Denver. He brought them back. 26-24, and Leonard had a career day. Shout out Leonard, mm-hmm. LSU boys, boys for sure, for sure. <laughs> I like I like what he did in the pocket that time in there. <laughs> does is, oh, when Nick Foles is healthy? Does Garner Minshew get his job back? I mean, does Nick Foles get his job back? Oh, Garner no. Minshew. If he keep winning, that's yeah, something to agree. talk about. But if they just pay him a total contract of like eighty million, who Nick Foles in the off season? So I, mean, I don't see how you can't play. But ain't Foles. NFL contract. They're not no, guaranteed. No, I'm not right? guaranteed, but the guaranteed money was like either in the 50 range. It was a high guaranteed range, contract. Yeah. It was a four year deal. <coughs> I don't know. It's going to be a real situation. I think their situation is similar to uh, Carolina's situation with Kyle Allen and Cam Newton. I think if Kyle Allen continues what? to win games, Cam Newton is going to be benched, like how similar to Kaepernick and Alex Smith and other situations like that. Chill out. Chill out. I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Cause Chill out. Kudy, Kyle Allen beat the Cardinals in his first start, right? It's the that Cardinals. was a big game. But he beat the Texans next week. The Texans are a playoff caliber team, so that was like a great win for him. And their defense have been balling as well. It's just their defense. Their defense what? In passing yards, they give up the least, one hundred and fifty-six yards per game. Carolina defense has been balling. So hmm. who they play do? I didn't know that. I know Carolina nice. Carolina play um. I who I had them. They played the Jacksonville. Hey, look how he tied it in together. Jacksonville and Carolina. It's in Carolina. I pick uh, Carolina win, even though we're not doing picks right now. Any more takeaways? In Carolina? Jacksonville and Carolina. I pick Jacksonville. Let's see. The Michigan show continues. Patrick Mahomes <coughs> balled against Detroit, 34-30. Let a game with a drive. Hello? Hello? Oh, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Jesus. Damn, you yelling. What's up? Damn, bro. Your forehead smooth as We're on a podcast. Why are you cursing at me? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> Gerald Everett. We'll discuss later. But since I have you on the phone, talk about your Ravens real quick. How are they? Um, We could be a little bit better. Uh, we're coming off a 2-0 stretch after a 2-W stretch, but our losses were to two good teams in Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs, and... I won't say the Browns are good, but they're a division rival. Uh, overall, I'm not worried. Overall, L- Lamar is showing us everything he needs to show us. And our defense in the middle linebacker region uh, just needs a little bit of assistance. Uh, C.J. Mosley, we're really missing him, and it shows on the field, especially in, when it comes to coverage. They don't hold it down like he can. But are they really supposed to? Technically, yes, but we know that they won't. <laughs> All right, your next four games against Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Seattle, and New England. What are y'all going to the next four games? The fan of me going to say 4-0, but real talk, um, we we probably going to leave that. We're going to leave 2-2 two and 3-1. Two and three and one. I'm not worried about Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, I agree. Mason Rudolph, I mean, he's showing us good things, but he's no Ben. <laughs> and they sure. don't have AB. We've lost so many games to AB. I'm just glad that he's not here no more. <laughs> so I, don't, I, don't, I don't see us losing to Pittsburgh. Do I have to explain why I don't see us losing to Cincinnati, or can I just skip that? You one? can skip that. <laughs> okay, cool. New England, bro, I, I'm never going to sit here and say we're going to beat New England. I would, I would never bet against some regular season. <laughs> it's in Baltimore, though. It is in Baltimore. Um, yeah, I think that's Sunday night. That's after a bye game? week, too. And y'all play Seattle in Seattle. I think I think we I think we can stun the Patriots. But Seattle, I don't see us beating Seattle. I think that would be a good I game. Do. I, don't I see can see y'all beating Seattle. Seattle. That could be a good game, I think. I can see y'all beating Seattle. I think it out to a field goal, that game. I think so too, because um, they're just firing on. They're just another team that's firing on all cylinders. Yeah, so. they're nice right now. Firing on all cylinders. <laughs> Didn't they just beat um? What's it called? The yeah. Rams. Yeah, I thought I missed Bill go though. We watched it together. Hey, a, a W is a W, and the L is that's L. true. That's true. Come Man. in different shapes and sizes. Didn't beat us. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit you though about Jared Everett for real, because I don't really need him. What's going on, Mace? First, first round, you can have him. I'll set you later. For a first rounder, oh baby, let's do it. All right, baby. Bye bye. Just came up on Mace tripping. That's one call out of the way. What other takeaways? Yeah, you saw um, Mahomes had a game winning drive against Detroit. I like the uh, the uh, lateral. Oh, Kelsey, the uh, Sean yeah. that was so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most creative offense in the yeah, NFL. Yeah, that is some. Andy Reid always had a five, <laughs> and, and, and never could get a job done. 
I think they could do it this year. I think they could knock out the Patriots. No, I don't think so, though. I think so. No, I, don't Speaking just, of, I just don't think it could be Brady. Maybe. It's going to be a shootout. Whoever get ball last win. Uh, speaking of Patriots, they beat Buffalo 16-10 in a battle mm-hmm. of That's something to talk teams. about because Brady had a terrible day. Buffalo defense is spot up. I know. they People are slept on it. And if they had a, a capable quarterback, they would have won this game. Capable quarterback. Josh Allen got hurt. Yeah. And then Matt Barkley came in the game. He's straight. Like a, no, that Patriots defense had been yeah, the best defense, defense is balling though. I know. So I'm saying they had a decent quarterback. They would, they could have won this game. Other takeaways: Your Raiders beat the Colts. Yeah, I was asleep on the Raiders. Bro. I, was out. I, I thought T.I. was gonna play yeah, though. Yeah, he locked up and won that game. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, how man. you feel about Vontez Burfitt being suspended for the year? Man, that's crazy. How they just gonna ban him for the year? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. He don't be. He's mean. a repeat offender. He's, yeah, but he, he don't be knocking people out. It's football. They gotta stop playing but, so soft. It's not. He not even doing it intentional. It's just a mistake. They, like he trying to hit. But they be they be seen targeted <laughs> when people be looking at him. No nah, man, that's not cool. Noggin, bro. At least find them big, a big, some big money or something. Man. But now don't suspend him for the league. Don't suspend him. Got you. He ain't mean that. Atlanta drops to Tennessee, twenty-four ten. Marcus Mariota was firing all cylinders in the first uh quarter. AJ Brown with two tubs. I, I just don't get the Falcons. It's like they always want to play catch up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Matt, like, Ryan, Matt Ryan almost had four hundred yards. He wanted his stats. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, I feel like now they really in the hot seat. Like. So it's like now they about to play catch up. And they play Houston this week too. And they and this is some really a must win game. Too. If they go <laughs> one and four, they might as well just say oh, F the season. Anyway. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, what else we got? Dwayne Haskins entered the game as the Giants beat them twenty four three. Dwayne Haskins looks terrible. They and that's put my him God. in the fire, boy. And it's really I don't think it's it is was he not him, ready. It was a mix of him and uh, the offense. That team's offense isn't good either. True. What's good about that offense? Is, Jay think, Gruden supposed to be an offensive minded coach, right? Yep. yep. But I don't, I don't see where. I think Jay Gruden, this is last year, bro. Fire I don't him. think he's gonna make him. it to the end of the year. How do I feel about Colt McCoy starting this week against the Patriots? I mean, it really don't matter. The risk and suck. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying they, I think was, they had a better chance with Case than Colt. Come on. Yeah. Come on. But Colt Fox, shout out him. Horns up. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, other takeaways: that Tampa Bay beat uh, LA 55 40. That was a shocker. And the fact they scored fifty five points, and the, du- and the duo of Chris Godwin and Mike Evans, yes. that's something to talk about. I think this game next week gonna be uh, with the Saints, the Saints and Buccaneers game it's gonna be a good one. I think. I think it has the potential to be a shootout. But, but still, Jameis almost blew it. Yes, still, Jameis almost reason. blew it. Jameis is just having a great game. Just have a he mental just, lapse. Yeah. Throw a pick six when you up two tubs. Almost blew that game, Jameis. But they 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 got the win. They got a in a. Uh, Great NFC South showdown this Sunday. What are y'all uh, quarterly award winners? First Quarter. four games. MVP, rookie of the year, defensive player of the year, coach of the year. Who MVP we got? MVP of the season so far is Mahomes again. You agree? I yep. think it's Mahomes. Um, the rookie of the year for offense this year is um, Josh Jacobs. Who? Uh, you like Josh? I do. I was going to say Gardner Minshew. you going to say Gardner? I like Terry. McLaurin? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that too. And then Josh Jacobs stats. We defensively, three hundred seven yards, two rushing touchdowns. Is Shaq Beard a rookie? Five yards to carry. Shaq Beard not a rookie, right? No, but he he leading the defensive player of the year. He, yeah, he probably yeah, yeah. he's for sure defensive player. <laughs> he going seven thirty. Um, crazy. for de- for rookie defensive players, I might have to go with a. I don't know who's balling. Mm. I can't think of no rookies on defense that's balling right now. The, um. The Panthers got a good defensive man. Oh, Brian that Burns? Burns. Yeah, it's yeah, him. Brian Burns. Burns. Yeah, he Brian is him. Crazy. Yeah, it's him right now. He's going crazy right now. NFC South. <laughs> uh, and then um, Coach of the Year, I go with... Uh, I like Sean Payton for Coach of the Year. Yeah. To be able to do what you're doing without Drew. And I like Kyle Shanahan, too. Games. I like Kyle Shanahan, too. But right now, Sean Payton doing it without Drew. Yeah. When everybody kind of us out to lose these last two games, and we come out victorious. Against the team. The, the teams that they said was the guaranteed L's. Yeah. Like, it was like, oh, we definitely going to lose these. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, oh, my goodness. Totally. They don't know how to tackle. Oklahoma versus Kansas, 27 right now. Shout out Jalen Hurts. Uh, defense player of the year? Who you gonna like? you guys like? I don't think Shaq Aaron Donald. Oh, yeah, you said that? Yeah. Who? Devin McCourty. Hey, that's what I was though. talking about. That's what I was about to say. McCourty. <laughs> hey, he got four interceptions <clears throat> in four games. McCourty is from the he, Patriots. He can get safety. 16 I picks this year. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> we missing one. Comeback player of the year. Mm. Comeback player of the year. I don't know who was hurt.
Mm. Oh yeah, I think Cooper Cup might get that guy. Guy had to look up who's injured. Players that were injured last year was Cam, Cooper Cup, Earl Thomas, Jimmy. Cooper Rockwell. having to come back now. Cooper Cup was going crazy. He might win that win it for real. Jason Red, Deion Jones. I got Cooper Cup for comeback player of the year, and you're not listening still. Cooper Cup player of the year, yeah. I mean comeback player of the year, yeah. I am listening. I just somebody got me riled up again. <laughs> Who got you riled up in the group chat, bro? <clears throat> that boy DJ. <laughs> well, since y'all are not talking, well Brandon's talking. Shout out to Lil B. So, round of right, right applause for Lil B for uh, holding it down with the round of applause. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. College football prediction real quick. Auburn, Florida. <laughs> Who's winning that? That's football. But I do like Bo Nitz, though. I got Auburn. Surpri- I got Auburn surprising them. Florida got a new quarterback that's in there. He looked pretty good, but I don't think he's going to be ready for this moment. I think this is where Florida drops two straight. Mm. This is where they realize, like, damn, we was almost good enough, but <laughs> we're not there yet. I don't know, though, but Auburn not Auburn hasn't shown me nothing either, though. I feel like this game might be like a, a three-point game. Auburn is a three-and-a-half-point favorite. I got Auburn That's winning. That's really interesting because they're in Florida. That's because Auburn's like – it's the but it's just only his third game starting. Yeah. So I, I do like Auburn to win this game as well. I got Auburn winning, and I think it'll be a close game. But if they do lose – like whoever loses this game, they season pretty much over. Yeah, they still got to see Bama. Because yeah, they still got to play Bama and LSU, <laughs> both of them. Except uh, Florida don't play Bama this year. But, mm-hmm. Okay. But – um. Yeah. The battle of the SEC elite. It's a hey. shame that UGA meets. That's what I'm saying. It's only Florida. <laughs> that's the thing. It's only Florida or UGA. So even if Florida lose this game, they still in it. They just can't lose no more. But I don't see them beating UGA and LSU like yeah. at all. So. Um, let's do our uh, NFL picks real quick then. <clears throat> oh, really? I'm scared to do, 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 do your love. So, NFL week five picks. It was the first game. Five picks. I gotta start winning on my picks. <laughs> um, Cardinals at Bengals. The Bengals are three point favorites, and it is the battle of trash. Bengals are three point favorites. I, I got Kyler winning this one. I, I see the Cardinals winning this one. I got. I had Kyler winning <laughs> too, and I do have Kyler winning. This they will get their first win in Cincinnati. I just think what I seen from the Bengals on Monday night, it was just terrible. Just horrible. They weren't even protecting uh, Andy Dalton. Real terrible. And I heard, I'm hearing rumors that they're going to trade A.J. Green soon. Should. Free A.J. Let, let that boy go win for a change. So I got the Cardinals winning. I think it'll be a close game. Over under 47 and a half points. Cardinals or Bengals? Cardinals. That's it? <laughs> you say who I got winning, right? I was asking why you going to give your explanation. Oh, I got the Cardinals winning because the Bengals suck, bro. <laughs> the Cardinals suck too, though. They ain't won the game. Kyler going to be winning this game. Yeah. He don't like losing, bro. And I, I mean, because he's a winner. Nobody like losing. I know, but he's a winner. So it's like, <laughs> last week they looked bad. Like, they looked terrible. So it's like he, they owe themselves, they owe it to themselves to actually come out here and beat the crap out of uh, <laughs> the Bengals. Plus, John Ross not playing out on IR. AJ Green still not playing. Mm. Patrick Peterson about to make his return soon. Joe Mixon, please go off. Have you on my face. What week is this? Five or four? Five. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> PP back next week? Or he got to wait one more game? It don't matter. Yeah, wait one more game. Regardless. Oh. This is their uh, this is their chance to make a little statement for him and show yeah. that they actually you know. Aren't show, uh, like something. especially for their fans because they lose this game is over. Maybe what one in who was over one four and one who they, they see the men over. I know, but I'm saying like it's yeah. it's like saying, why even go to the games no more? Like, we gonna have a top five pick. You gotta build for the future. Make well, they might get Jared Judy for real. They need a receiver. They need a line on to protect Kyler. Uh, Bills at Titans. The Titans are a three-point favorite. I do have the Titans winning this game. I got the Bills. Josh Allen is well, is active. Is act. He's going to be active for tomorrow's game after passing Because it's like protocol. with the Titans. Huh? Titans. Bills. Yeah. It's like with the Titans. They play good one game. They, yeah, this game they be. Ma- you know, cheeks. Marcus Mariota doesn't have any picks. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the Titans will win this game. This is the game. That you think the Titans gonna win? I do. I think it's the game that people don't expect them to win, and when it's those types of games, they win it. So I think the time where is the game in Tennessee? Okay, I can see them winning there. I got Buffalo, but I'm gonna go Buffalo. Gotcha. Bears at Ra- Bears at Raiders versus Raiders in London. The Bears are a five point favorite, and this this is a Khalil Mack revenge game. Who are you taking, Raiders fan? Raiders. 
Really? Yeah. I mean, no, Miss I even playing. Chase Dale. I playing. know. That's why I believe in Derek Carr. You don't think Club Mac gonna have an out of body experience? I mean, he gonna have a little something going on, but three. You know, have three Raiders, sacks, Raiders two forced fumbles, winning. one interception, ten quarterback hurries, a touchdown. He gonna have a receiving touchdown, <laughs> a rushing touchdown. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Hmm? I like the Bears to win. Bears. It's not even like. It's not. Yeah, it's not even close. They don't have Mitch. They don't need him. They don't need the him. Defense, the the defense, defense go. Y'all the defense. Like I said, Chase Daniel doesn't have to be great. Just be good enough. He doesn't have to be good. The Raiders going to win. He just has to be okay. Why well, some surprise? You can win with a team, a defense that great, as long as you're okay. Just play okay. Bro, why is Trey FaceTiming me, bro? I'm trying to talk deals and, <laughs> and Madden. Bears versus Saints. It is in New Orleans. The Saints Bears are Saints. I'm even tripping. Buccaneers versus Saints. The Saints and it is it is in New Orleans and the Saints are a three point favorite. I have the Saints winning in a possible shootout, even though I don't believe Tate Bridgewater is good for a shootout. I think the Saints will get a defensive touchdown or a special teams t- touchdown, and it'll be a great one. I think will come down to last possession, similar to last week on Sunday night. But I think Jameis and his uh, miscues will show up again in New Orleans. Or the Saints this is when our defense is gonna be rolling. One. We're gonna get. We might have a pick, fumble. Mike Evans, Chris picks. Godwin, though. Oh boy, it's nice. They're going to bomb on us. But see, yeah, for sure. when I they bombed so. on us, it was because of Ryan hey, man, What's y'all think about this, bro? They didn't bomb on us because of Jameis. Jameis never really bombs on us. You know what I'm saying? It's usually, it was Fitzpatrick that did his dirty. But with Bruce Arians, Jameis like a whole different quarterback. Who you got? Buccaneers or Saints? He ain't going to like. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even better than my day. Like, How is it not? <laughs> Slate is an 89. <laughs> They're discussing Manning deals. New league TML, bro. It's crazy. Dude. I know you got the Saints, right? Oh, yeah. Buccaneers, Saints. Got the Bucks. Cool. That's tell us why. Bruce I got the Arians Bucks. with Jameis. Jameis evolving oh. in that offense. Feeding Mike Evans, <laughs> big receiver. <laughs> big receiver. Feeding Chris Godwin, big physical receiver as well. So I don't see the Saints corners really doing that much against them. They can't guard them. They can't really check. But the Saints' them. offense, you don't think they're gonna put up points? No, nah, game managers. That's what Teddy is. Mm. So you see, it's like Jameis is gonna, it's like it's gonna be a shootout, hopefully. But I expect the Buccaneers to put up points. Mm, that's brave. Interesting for sure. Vikings at Giants. The Vikings are a five and a half point favorite. We know the animosity that the Vikings have with Stephon Diggs possibly requesting a trade and Thielen publicly calling out how the offense is ran in Minnesota. And I think against the Giants this week, I think the Vikings will get back on the road. And I think Kirk Cousins will have a a pretty good passing day. I think Zimmer's going to open up the offense rather than just be a run-heavy team as Thielen and Diggs are unhappy in the current system. Giants or Vikings? Vikings. Giants going to lose. Vikings. <laughs> Giants going to lose bad, bro. <laughs> this day real game. But see, this is where the issue comes. Case Keenum. Not Case Keenum. Kirk Cousins, your guy, is garbage. Garbage. You listening? Because you're looking at me like I'm telling a story or something. Nah, I just said that. You weren't listening. This is good, bro. Just talking. Just talking. But it's your guy. I'm just saying. I'm, a, I'm reiterating. He's garbage. You didn't have to tell him what you already said. We know what you said. You're not listening, though. Bro, relax. You, actually, you sound like my like a girlfriend right now. Come on. Put the, put the phones in the, in the box. Come on. Okay. Everybody put them in. Come on. No <laughs> phone's gonna stay in there. <laughs> you gonna keep him in there? Fuck y'all, guy. Oh, yeah. Look, matter of fact, I can't walk out camera. <laughs> I hit the dumb bro. I know. Hope my screen didn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me why. You said the Vikings right now. Why are you talking about Kurt? They fucking. They gonna get ejected for that. But uh, Kurt Cousins is garbage. She's overpaid. And. Not the, the first one. Not sorry. Just average. Okay. Average making too much, making great money. Yeah. And then you got the Giants defense who is garbage. Gabbage. The Giants defense is not good. So I feel like the Vikings going to have a chance to be in the game. They but this, when the issue comes, <laughs> the Giants offense isn't that what isn't that great to where when they play. Ah, Dan Jones, the man, remember? He is. For them, he's their guy. But. That Vikings defense is not about to be sweet. You know what I'm saying? Mike Zimmer is about to test the rookie. Yeah, he's going to test the rookie. He's going to send a little blitz. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to come to that. He's going to test his football IQ in this game. I don't think the 
The only way the Giants can put a lot of points, the, the Vikings can put a lot of points is if Dalvin Cook scores a lot. So I don't think they're gonna be running. Up. I think they'll run it. They, they how it's it's it's, it's, like, it's how the frustration going on in Minnesota anyway about Diggs, the running. Diggs, Diggs, so Diggs I feel like happy, they gonna start passing more this game. Yeah, Diggs and Thielen. But then again, that's fine too. But is Kirk is the issue because the Giants passing defense isn't great or good. Why they? They not. They're not. <laughs> Why they? They be getting burnt. Janoris Jenkins. They shut down Baker. Dwayne Haskins last week. Don't even get me started on that. That show. That's a real S H I T show. That's <laughs> a real one. Jets versus Eagles. The Eagles are a fourteen point favorite. I think this is a clean sweep. Donald is still out. Yes, Eagles. Eagles fly. Yep. Ravens versus Steelers. The Ravens are a three and a half point favorite. I don't think this game will be close at I all. Got I think the Ravens are, might blow them off out the uh, Just, yeah, out the game. Still thought they did something last week. I know they really did. <laughs> I don't think I see about them. They they don't realize they were playing the, the second worst team in the NFL. I think the only reason why this uh, the spread is that close because it's a rivalry game. Still is right. Ravens, one of the best NFL rivalries, quote unquote. Yeah, the Ravens going to beat them. I think, I think the Ravens going to go off on them. I think that's a clean sweep, too. Yep. Uh, Patriots versus Redskins. The Red, Patriots are a 15 and a half point favorite. Yeah, Patriots. Patriots defense is going to go crazy again. <laughs> Start them every week. The Patriots defense is the best in the NFL. Who they play this week? The Redskins. I just said it. I didn't hear you. Dang, bro. Relax. I'm just messing with you, man. Ravens going. I mean, uh, the Patriots going. <laughs> Boy, my brain is scrambled right now. Jaguars versus Panthers. Panthers are three and a half. I mean, three point favorite. I like the Panthers to win this game. Yeah, I do. I like the Panthers. You like Gardner and Leonard. I'm going with the Jags. You know that. Even though Jalen not playing, they don't have no receiver that Jalen needs to be out there guarding anyway. DJ Moore. Again. <laughs> they don't have no receiver that Jalen needs to be out there guarding anyway. They'll hold it down. Falcons versus Texans. The Texans are a four. John gonna be at that game. <coughs> Shout out John. Happy birthday, John. Yeah, boy. Happy birthday, bro. Mm, I'm Go to t- Houston. Uh, he going to the Astros yes, game. Okay. I'm going to the Texans game. And I have the Texans beating the shit out of the Falcons. And I have <laughs> the Falcons winning. It's the turnaround. So <laughs> it's turnaround turn for what? It's over. <laughs> it's not. It's over. It's not. It's the turnaround. <laughs> turnaround to what? I'm like, what are we turning around to? It is over. We, we have too much talent it's on over. that team. Season's over. Just hold on. We're going home. They're going to win. The deep. The Texans defense is shaky. So the Falcons defense shaky. They say the over under is 50 points. Okay, but we'll shoot up. I'm going to bomb on y'all. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I think the Texans will win. I'm about Julio and Calvary is about to go off. Y'all can't even stop running quarterback. They, but, but Dan Quinn got this. Bro. Only the way, yeah. I got the Texans, but I th- the Falcons do have a good chance to win this game. Off the strength of the Texans can't protect their quarterback. Deshaun's running for his life. <laughs> and that's a fact. Run from it. <laughs> Hide from it. Dread it. Hmm. Broncos versus Chargers. Chargers are a six-point favorite. I, don't know. I think I like to charge the win Melvin Gordon revenge game Go off in LA It's in LA I'm gonna take Denver though <laughs> I'm gonna take Denver Cause Bradley, Bradley Chubb out for the season I'm taking the Chargers I'm taking Denver I, I, I like Joe Their best Their second best well, pass Cause they, they They've been close every y'all game kill, Y'all kill me for liking Kirk Cousins He could like Joe Flacco <laughs> They've been close every game They just blow it In the, in Why the, do they in blow the final it? minutes Why do they blow it Joe the defense. <laughs> nah, don't blame the defense. They got it gone. is defense. Super MVP. And they, their Court, second best Courtland pass rushers out. Cortland Sutton been going on. Their second best pass rushers out. First of all, Cortland Sutton was taking all of Emmanuel Sanders touchdowns. I didn't appreciate that because no. it was killing my fantasy numbers. Get no. off the phone, bro. Pay attention. <laughs> this will be the name of this episode. No, I ain't paying attention. I'm just talking. <laughs> I, don't, I, feel, I got distracted. Uh, like I said, bro. He um. What did you say? Why did you just stop? Because you distracted me, bro. I said... Emmanuel Sanders getting all his touchdowns taken away by Courtland Sutton. He take all his catches. Well, the touchdowns. Because Emmanuel Sanders get him down the field and then the touchdown go to Courtland Sutton. But that's how it went last week. He's big. Okay. Red zone. And Bradley Chubb's out for the season. That's what I also said. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. He's their second best pass rusher. I understand, but we still they still good. Okay, the charge the charge it won't <laughs> the charge is gonna win. Like, I don't, I'm not even going back and forth about it. Packers versus Cowboys. Cowboys are three point favorites. I have the Cowboys to win this game. Yeah, Devontae Bay. Adams out with a toe injury. Oh, yeah. Without Devontae Adams, the Packers offense Never mind. Matter. It's not the same. Cowboys. Don't matter. So I think Dak Let me go is switch my pick. This game. And, and the same thing how Drew Brees and the Saints still. This, this, this ain't that. Nah, this ain't that. This ain't that. Green Bay. And it's Aaron, Dallas. Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback. Y'all just going to try him like that. Like, he they, just won't come out. Did you not see them when they played the Philly? The only thing I'm – no, they but see, when they Devontae w- went out, they the wasn't, offense stopped moving. They wasn't bro. ready for it. Like, they wasn't ready for him to be hurt. Like, come on now. So, now Dallas, now they just got far, practicing. Bro. Like, That's they, what I'm, I'm I feel like now Jimmy Brown about to be big. But I don't think Dak and them going to have a good game. Because the Packers defense is good this season. No, they're not. They are. Against the pass, they are Carson was just carving them up last week. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then they definitely can't defend a run. You now, that's one thing. They can't defend so a run. Gonna, that's he, only one thing. Zeke going to be the uh, out of Dak versus Zeke. I think Zeke will have the better but game. Green Bay going to win, win bro. Game. I got the Cowboys still. No. Green Bay going to win. Okay, man. <laughs> Colts versus Chiefs. The Chiefs are 11-point favorite. Chiefs. Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes going to go crazy when, uh, on Sunday night. They say they ran all day red on red. Be too far. Red. Chiefs kingdom. All red. So, Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. I mean, who, I didn't even hear who you said they was playing, but I, I know Colts. I picked them. Yeah, it won't be close. Browns versus 49ers. The Niners are a four-point favorite. That's interesting. Browns. I'm going. With, I'm going with the Boot Boys always. Browns or 49ers? Browns. Um, I like the Browns to win. I think the 49ers. They're three and zero, so they can afford to lose a game. And the Browns need this game as a tough. Uh, schedule is ahead of them. They play New England in the coming weeks. Seattle, a great team. So I think it's a game they'll need, and it'll be three or two ahead of the NFC North. Ahead? Yeah, they yeah they 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 on top of it right now. They beat Baltimore. They two and two. Oh yeah 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 yeah. And those are our week five picks. Hey, we'll let you know if we're right or wrong next week. Did y'all see the uh, the rap beef that's brewing in the NBA? <laughs> Shaq and Damian Lillard? <laughs> yes. Did you do we hear the songs? Heard Dames. I didn't hear Shaq's. Well, let's hear Shaq's then. <clears throat> uh, this is Freestyle, Damn Dollar Diss by Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, sir. You think you got better music than Shaq? I think I rap better than Shaq. People weren't looking at it like it's a real rapper. It was like that Shaq rapping. New pack life. That's the game, right? The daddy has to come out of retirement and spank. One of these undisciplined children. Now it's time to be disciplined. It's time to put up that belt. And we a little ass. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, yeah, what's wrong with these little cats? I can tell they little listen to they little raps. Always bragging about they little max contract. They ain't got a little money when it comes to Shaq. You see this flow, got a little Hall of Fame on it. Game shoot jumpers, Shaq still banged on it. Are you kidding me, hearing me? Not physically, mentally, vividly, seeing it before you might get it. I'm on a yacht in Little Italy, riddle me when you were shown. Did you see my MVP like a trilogy? MVP candidates, you are not one. I think Shaq was playing. I think it's serious. You say you don't give a F about the dollar. Get it? Damn dollar? I barely charged Tesla. Stop smoking Portland weed. That Kush ain't good for you. <laughs> How's that? Should I kill them? I mean, I ain't even hear Dane's, but I'll say Dane one. Dane went back to back. Who these two? We played the first one. It's an ad. They don't promote.
about other people. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but <brother>, it was. <laughs> How was it? New pack. Life. New pack light. Shout out. <laughs> that um, he had a couple good bars, I guess, but again, I don't think he was serious. Dame thought it was serious. <laughs> this is Dame's. Rain, rain, go away. Ruler. Mm. snap. Does he compare the first two? Shaq or Dame? Who wins? We know who won. The rapper won. The one that actually raps and puts out projects of quality. <laughs> had a little Wayne feature too. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know why we had had this. <laughs> this this wasn't even a segment. That was news, bro. On social media, people saying Shaq won. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Streets. <laughs> I don't want to be in them streets. Is Dame the best uh, athlete rapper yes. ever? Ever? I, I mean, yeah. Not rapper turn at, rapper turn athlete, athlete turn rapper. Even though he do both still. Him and Zoe. Yeah, he been. <laughs> <laughs> you said Zoe. <laughs> now you don't like Zoe, bro. He in New Orleans. I could rap better than Lonzo. Zoe. <laughs> Man, he play basketball though. Yeah, he could hoop better than me. Like, better than him. <laughs> Fair deal. I'll take it. Specs. Uh, you know, rap paper scissors for which who we'll go first? He don't have no news. <laughs> What's the talking about? Uh, the Joker movies out. Seen it yesterday. I wish I could have seen it. I I'm not gonna spoil it. It was a good movie though. I'll go see it. You know, taking. I'm it. taking. Uh, and I finally seen it though. Oh, how was it? Yeah. Oh, I still ain't seen that. I ain't seen it. Either. How was it? It was good. I'm taking Sorry. Bay applications because I just need to go on like a movie date, <laughs> like a just all day movie date. So. <laughs> Y'all hit me up on Twitter at Cut Carter in the DMs. It go down in the DMs. I got the bands on me. Go down in the DMs. You did. How was it? It was good for real. It was good for real. I think I think the Joker movie. I think that. Uh, but I like them more when they was kids though, not when they just grown okay. ups. I heard the way it ended was kind of phony. Like, kind of well, can we can I see yeah, it first? It was. I, I didn't you know see it. Them? <laughs> now, Joaquin like Phoenix it. though play Joker. Good movie. You'll like it the way it ties in with everything, even though it's not like a cinematic movie. And I think you're gonna get an Oscar for his performance. That wasn't that wasn't an in depth analysis. That was just me, you know. Being so, honest, yeah. I'm gonna go see it <laughs> like in the next two weeks probably. I'm gonna have a lot of free time. There's a lot of movies. There's Zombie Land two coming out. I'm gonna go see that for sure. They say it takes place ten years after the original movie came out, so I'm gonna go see that for sure. Jesse Eisenberg. Woody yeah, again. It's the same for people. Oh yeah, I'm hurt. Yeah, it'll be bro. hard. I, feel like I gotta more. watch the old one again. Yeah, and there's one more good movie good coming out. I think I forgot though. Entertainment news, music news. What are we doing? Uh, they say uh, Travis and Kylie don't broke up. <laughs> <laughs> you know hey, hey, that's entertainment, man. That's, entertainment. that's the best thing you got. Uh, do we believe it? 
Is it true? Do you guys believe it? Travis came out and denied it. Kylie denied it. Tiger they didn't said, deny it. He didn't deny it. He, they didn't he deny. said, I'm focused on my family. And she said, me and Travis focused on being Friendships. friends. Oh, so it is true. I heard one rumor saying it was over them having a second child. I didn't hear that. That's I what I heard. I didn't That's hear that. That's what my sources told me. A second child? <laughs> they said Travis didn't want a second child. That was a report telling me. That was my sources told me. Oh, I don't get into people's personal business. Yeah. I'm believing, like... The entertainment segment, I like how we do it because we don't get too in depth and start talking about personal stuff. How's, how's that personal? You talking about second child and stuff? I don't talk about people. the Kardashians are living a public life. Okay, <laughs> that's what you mean TMZ report all the time. That's still they. We ain't TMZ. This PLP. That was trash. Pet Life Podcast. <laughs> that was so trash. Hey, y'all, look. If it is the end of their uh their relationship, oh, man. that Travis Scott uh album, I hope it's well, a sad one. Sad Travis would be fucked. Thing like drugs, you should try vibes and be on it. Coffee bean vibes. I mean, I would, but <laughs> it don't. It don't need to be a full album with that, though. My I mean, music, be full, like stuff, I be having full projects huh? of uh, sap stuff. I mean, that, but we do. we know your situation. I mean, <laughs> you know, what's my situation? <laughs> no, New situation. pack no, light. Situation. I, I want to hear it. Let me hear it. You want to hear it? <laughs> Shit, might as well. You 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 went do through I, a break. <clears throat> you went through a breakup, mm-hmm. right? So you know, y- you're heartbroken, Dr. right? Fell into the rescue. You're, you're heartbroken, right? Mm-hmm. So so, you hit the studio. You try, you pouring your feelings out in, in a mic. Just how I'm feeling. So it, like it's, like it was just, it was just been sap songs, which like obviously you're not over it yet. So <laughs> this the last one that that just ending it, and then you back on that ballads from you know South, South Atlanta. Atlanta. Hey, coming soon. Ballads from South Atlanta, sap. It is well. I, well, I guess you ain't over it then. Yet, so. <laughs> you heard it, bro. How you I, gonna... I know, but I thought it was gonna it's be more upbeat. Yeah, it's more upbeat, but it's still. So I guess after that one, you just yeah. I'm not. I'm not going back yeah. to this phase no more. Yeah, it's time to be so on a new cut. cut. Oh yeah, not even new. It's That's just so the, the regular me. What? Same thing. Got a couple uh, songs on there too. Zap. Which one? I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure there's one. It's not sad. It's more so just telling stories. Why are you so hurt? Get off your hurt, man. It ain't hurt, bro. You know, it is hurt. I'm not hurt. You know, it's hurt. It's not hurt. <laughs> you, you, just, you on your future, John. You just can't trust one. You just can't trust it. Do you hate the real you? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just, you know, breakups just be breakups. I mean, after some breakups, when you was dealing with somebody that you was messing with strong, it be hard to recover. That's facts. That's facts. Fair. And not so, not so much like recover, like be happy. Like, I'm happy. I'm enjoying life. It's just. Like I, I just it still bothers you a little bit. Yeah, I just can't. I don't you can't know. get over that. Like it keep re, like it keep reoccurring. Yeah, like, like when you try to get over it, just like and then something you, happened. It, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then like it come a time you just have flashbacks, right? Flash, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we, I'm just, I just keep it gangster though. Like, <laughs> like yeah, I still, I be, try, I, I be still living and doing stuff, going out dates and stuff. It's like, just you like get lonely sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It get lonely. You get lonely. Sometimes. And then yeah, you start having thoughts. And I keep it by myself. Like, but you gotta keep it by yourself. You can't. You can't. After a breakup, you gotta love yourself first. That's facts. So, that's facts. Like, that's facts. Gyms. Some people like the new pack, pack life relationship right after. Yeah. I just I ain't been in a relationship for over a year, and I probably won't be. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not over it yet. Not about you don't over it. You're not you're not, you not ready yet. That's what I'm saying. You're not, not even about being ready. I just don't think my last relationship made me realize that I probably don't need to be in a relationship. If that makes sense. Now that's somebody for everyone. I mean, for right now you need to. You oh, need so to you're saying you just getting yourself together. Yeah, I need to get my stuff. I gotta get myself together and focus oh, gotcha, on gotcha, me. Gotcha, okay, gotcha. maturing, just on. maturing. That's all. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, you know, we could go on. I still go on dates. I still kick it with. We can still kick it oh, and hang out. On. But I gotta cut card as my number one priority. Facts. When I was in a relationship, my priority wasn't cut card. It was that person. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. it's me. Yeah, just you. Now it's all about. So that's why I'm saying. Yeah. Team of me. Team <laughs> of me. <laughs> Martin Show Lawrence. Give my, <laughs> my dad respect, daddy. <laughs> Team with me. Me. So Clyde, get off easy. <laughs> this was about. <laughs> that's Ross. That's welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins, for y'all people that's not aware of what we talking about. Oh, oh, my segment. I liked it. You being transparent and all. Ooh. We we, y'all want to do that more? We Sap should session? do that more. We should. Sap sessions? Like we have a heart to heart sometimes. Heart to yeah, heart session? Should. Once yeah. an episode? Like, yeah, once an episode. We'll see. It ain't gonna always be about me and my baggage though. We ain't doing that. <laughs> you can't talk too much about uh-huh. me. You want you want to hear how I'm feeling? Go listen to my music. How about that? At Cook Carter. <laughs> Any more entertainment news? Let's get to the music. Are we sure there's no more entertainment news? 
positive. Why are you gonna check him every time? I mean, um, see, cause he, cause he, Demarcus Cousins, he's supposed to turn himself in to like Alabama about that domestic violence case. You know what I'm saying? I didn't hear that. Y'all hear about that? I didn't hear about that. Just but tell us more, man, he tell been stalling. More. He been stalling. The, he ain't trying to go in. He ain't trying to turn himself in. I I understand. Whenever you ready, <laughs> for me, I got you. All right, I'm ready. All right. Oh, really? Music news. Uh, what dropped. Summer Walker dropped her project. All the girls are loving it. All the girls are tweeting it, loving it, snapping it, Instagramming it. <laughs> I've seen it everywhere. I was like, let me go listen. How was it? I didn't listen to it. I don't like the whole thing. <laughs> I like songs though. It's number one after music. So. No, she's she's hard though, and she can really sing like. That song she got Rick Ross, that Summer Rain. Oh. <laughs> she went, all I ask is that you hold it down for me. Because I told you I could be it. She could sing. Like, she could really sing. And she's from Atlanta. She's from Atlanta. I think she's on the east side. Shout out to Atlanta. But she, um, Shout out Atlanta. she's... ATL. ATL. She she got some good vibes on there. I like the, and I like that Uh, playing games. That's my favorite right now. Playing games. And she got the feature, like she got an extended version on there with Bryson Tiller. And then she got the song with Usher where she sampled a, uh, what song she sampled? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> I forgot what song she sampled. It's one of his hits though. Like from back in the day, you know I threw my phone so I can't look. Oh, maybe I'll get it? I could, oh, give me your phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Come Through, I think. She sampled that. Come Through. Yeah, come through featuring Usher. She got Black on her feature. She got Janae Aiko, A Boogie with a Hoodie, Party Next Door feature. Drake's on the feature for one of her remixes. Uh, Juice World dropped a new song yeah, young with boy. a young boy called <coughs> Bandit. It's I hard. It. Yeah, it's hard. It's stupid hard. Travis dropped highest in the room, which was our intro about song today. Yes, sir. Time. Straight up. And um, tell us how you feel about it. Nah, t- tell me your scathe hot take about it. I can't stop playing. It's on I didn't re- like it's it on at repeat. first. Off the first listen, I watched the video and I was watching it at my boy house. But then um, when I came home and kind of listened to it in the car by myself, it was like, okay. But that ending, whatever he did in them last 38 seconds of that song, it's the Midas. Yeah. That, that jump. That, it's hard. That Mike Dean. Hard. Shout out Mike yeah, Dean. That, that, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> uh, Gucci Man dropped a song called Big Booty with Megan Thee Stallion. I ain't here yet. And Chris, Rocket, Chris Brown dropped some junk, too. Why, yeah, Chris Brown released, double, released a, a the same show. album. Yeah, he but, added 11 songs. Yeah. It's a separate album, though. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Extended. But, it, but it's gonna count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the sales for the same. And four or five of them songs really hard. Out of eleven? Yeah. yeah, I downloaded a bunch of them. Yeah. Um YK Osiris dropped a song called Ride featuring uh Kalani. Tyler the Creator dropped a remix of um Earthquake, like a kind of sound like some house music or some uh uh what's that good like go go style yeah, to speaking it. of Tyler the Creator Earthquake, we saw him live. Yeah, we went to this concert Marina. Thursday. Crazy. Saw him and Blood, Blood Orange. Orange and, uh, I saw Yachty came out with Blood Orange, but we missed Gold Links. Shout out Gold yeah. Links. Tyler Crater, that was a, good, a great concert. You go to tour. Yep. Y'all check him out if y'all can when he comes to your city. Um, and Guap Dad 4000, he dropped a song called Gucci Pajamas featuring Chance the Rapper and Charlie Wilson. I think it's, yeah, it's a great song. I think I think people should check him out. Guap Dad, like, his new drops, like, he, because he had a song called uh, Flossing that Drake, uh, kind of promoted because they had a bet between yeah, the Raptors yeah, Warriors game. You remember saying that. Yeah. That. So, the yeah. Finals, yeah. So now he had been releasing. So he was featured on the uh, Dreamville album. Yeah. So now he's technically a platinum. Award winning artist. Yeah, because he went Award platinum. Winning. So he on a song on there called Costa Rica, and I think he's he's actually the chorus. I got bands in Costa Rica. That's his voice because he kind of <clears> do like a little sing rap thing. Yeah. So now he dropped he dropped a song recently with a uh, black called uh called um Prada Process. And this one's called Gucci, uh, Gucci um, pajamas. <laughs> so like he been naming them after like different designer. But both of those projects are really good. I think y'all like you should check out, check out them two songs for sure. Uh, Prada process and Gucci pajamas. And the features are good because that's a good chance verse. It's a good chance verse. Charlie Wilson singing on there. It reminded me of like some Kanye stuff when he had Charlie Wilson featured on it. And then uh, Prada process he had um, black. Black is a good sing rapper. Yeah. Like. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Black be killing it. Because he's like, he can sing for real, but then he can also rap. And it's rare that people that's usually just straight up singers can rap. Yeah. But he's good at doing it. 
When so, is Yandy? Not Yandy. Uh, what do you call it? Jesus is King dropping. Uh, mm-hmm. When is Whole Lot of Red dropping? I don't know. When is Eternal or Taker dropping? Exactly. When is Pusha T album dropping? Oh, <laughs> when is ba- When is Battles from South Atlanta dropping? When is Saint Center dropping? I know it. Saint Center dropping. When is, when is Joe, Joe Saint Center might drop Black Friday. Black Friday? Is yeah. That November? Yeah. Oh y'all, it's too long. Y'all don't want to wait that long. No, I mean timing is always everything. I'm thinking I'm gonna do Black Friday <laughs> drop on that. I'm waiting on Battles from South Atlanta to post. Hopefully it post this week. Like. This week, like ASAP, like that work your move before I go to Louisiana for my birthday. Speaking of that, are we recording next week, sir? Thursday. Yes, sir. Okay, just okay. making sure. We ain't gonna change the date this time. Uh, it's your top five. Hmm. Let me get my drop, sir. Oh, hold on. What NBA news happened recently? We missed media day. Forgot to talk about that. All them pictures, like people got big threes and big fours, is funny. <laughs> a lot of these teams suck. We'll do our basketball predictions so probably next week. Yeah, because it's Cause oh preseason, preseason start preseason start. started so yeah. so we gotta get our basketball predictions in. So sure. make sure we got that down. So when y'all say something, don't come back later and be like, "What are you thinking?" Mm, who do y'all want to do? Top five, top five, top five, top five, top five, five. Baby. top five, top five, top five. What's your phone, bro? You need you need help. Thinking of artists. I'm calculating. I don't know. I have three artists in mind. I don't know. If, I don't know if he could do it. Only a matter of time. Young boy, can you do a young boy top five? Yeah. Okay. So we got young boy, we got Juice World, and we got Gates. Y'all pick whoever y'all want to do. He's not gonna do Gates, so he's gonna say Juice World. I can already see it. Juice World or Young Boy? Come on. Young boy. Bet. <laughs> young boy. <laughs> I, I rock their music, their man music hard. No cap. Okay, I'll go first. All right, my top five young boy songs in order at the moment. Number five, TCG from the, uh, what album was that? The Four Hearts, Four Loyalty, Four Respect for that project with featuring Kevin Gates. That's my number five. My number four is Rest in Peace Dump from the same project as TTG. My number three is No Love from, that album is Decided, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, Decided, No Love from Decided. Number two is Genie from Until Death Call My Name Reloaded. And number one is Can't Be Saved from For Respect, For Freedom, For Loyalty, and For What's Important. Uh, young boy, versatile, he can sing, he can rap. And uh, the themes he's talking about in his songs, I'm able to relate to. He's 19, I'm 19. Do the math, so. <laughs> from BR, I'm from New Orleans, so. I just relate, you feel me? <laughs> um, my top five. I got no order. I got TTG too as well. Okay. And then I got, um, I got Genie as well. And then I got, I got rock and roll. Yeah, I like rock and roll. Bro. I rock and rock roll. roll. Well. I got, um. Yeah. I got Untouchable. Got Untouchable Heart. And I got um, Twilight. Told me you love me. Yeah. But obviously you don't. Yeah, I don't have none of the ones y'all got. That's crazy. It be like that sometimes. All right, my number one young boy song is Change. Yeah, I like Change. Number two is Astronaut Kid. Yeah, you like that song. Number three is Love is Poison. That's on five, honorable mention. Number four is Show Me Your Love. Honorable mention as well. And number five, I have Free D Dog. I ain't got no chill. I'm trying to send it. Winfield. And my uh, honorable mention is Bond Number Nine. That's a hard song. Yeah. What's uh, his best project, you think? He dropped six projects last year. His best project is. um. I think it's um Until Death Call My Name. Yeah, whichever one got the most songs on it. But Riller was hard as well. For respect, for freedom, for loyalty, and for what for what's important was hard as well too. But I do have until Death Call My Name reloaded. His, yeah, that's uh, my his best, favorite. That's his best my one. favorite project. To Death Call My Name, and then I got For Respect for Freedom. Yeah, probably I like second. that one. Yeah. But really, was hard too. But Cross Me, Valuable Cross me, Pain, slime Survivor, belief. Slime Belief, yeah. And Young Boy is free. Fly like an eagle, I'm free. <laughs> is there any news breaking? <clears throat> Is there any news breaking? Uh, no. Nah, we, we're 
in the clear. I copied it. <laughs> and this was episode 33 of the Pack Life Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Stitcher. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Pack Life Pod. Um, Cut Carter music dropping soon. Uh, podcast going up. Yes, yes, man. Sir. Like and subscribe, bro. Go share it with your friends. Yeah, for sure. Talk about it. At us on Twitter and Instagram. Let's get it popping. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I mean, it's popping, but we need to get it more popping because. Yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, self made. Yes, sir. Self made, yeah. man. Everything's self made. Being self made gives you so much leverage, and I'd like to leave you guys with hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Self made meaning I design myself. KD from Thunderstruck. Shout out KD. See you guys next week. Bruise oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Episode 33, Jamal Adams, man. Hey, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Ooh. Larry Bird. Ooh. I, I looked them up. I had to make sure I Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I did mine on top of my head. <laughs> Number 33, who you got? Jabari Greer. Michael Turner. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> in, 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 in the show, man. <laughs> we out of here. <laughs>